guys, welcome to Water Baby Tarot. This is the February crystal reading for fire signs, so for Aries, Leos, and Saggies. So for those who are new to my channel or new to these kind of videos that I do, I've been doing them for like over a year now, um, I basically use the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle deck. I set it right on the first go to see what, uh, oh, excuse me, what crystals are recommended for you for the month of February. And I always read the descriptions of the crystals because these are very, very general readings. They are not going to be for everybody. So that way you can decide if you really need these crystals or not. Also keep in mind when it comes to crystals, I always recommend buying them in person. <clears throat> Excuse me. I always recommend buying them in person because we all have our own unique frequency as do crystals. And there are a lot of crystals that do the same thing for whatever it is you're seeking the crystal for initially. So if the crystal that I'm reading, you're resonating with why you need it, but you're not really liking the crystal for whatever reason, go ahead and see what other crystals do the same thing and then decide from there what crystal is best for you. Okay. Um, then I also go ahead and I pull <coughs> having one of those days, excuse me. Then I go ahead and I pull some tarot cards to see why you need those crystals. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Trying to think if there's anything else I missed. I don't think so. Oh, if you do have this deck and you don't have the crystal, but you need the crystal, you can always use the card of the crystal in lieu of the crystal. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> I had like a major coughing fit before this. A good like 30 to 40 minute coughing fit. I think I'm okay. It's calmed down quite a bit. So we'll just see. <clears throat> okay. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. For February, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo for February. <clears throat> Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo for February. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo for February. Sagis, I think you're going to go first. You guys are calling my energy. I literally just heard help. <laughs> Sagi, I literally just heard help. Uh, I feel like people are asking you for help during February. Uh, Sagis, you should be used to that. People like to uh, go to you guys for help, not just for help, but also people are gravitated towards you because you guys do have that very fun, adventurous, optimistic energy. And during the month of February, <clears throat> last couple months as well, a lot of people have been feeling a little lost. A lot of people have been feeling a little down in the dumps, right? And everyone's like, who's going to cheer me up? Saji, I bet you can cheer me up. You might just like a lot of people want too much of your attention right now. <clears throat> What crystals are recommended for Saggies for February? Okay, this, this deck is like talking a lot. A lot of cards are wanting to jump out. <clears throat> what crystals are best for Sagittarius for the month of February? I just heard September. Interesting. So something that happened in September might come forward or come up in February. Might be having to revisit something. Oh, someone. That's interesting. So you might have to revisit someone that you knew in September or saw in September, stop talking to in September or last saw in September. Sorry if that was a repeat. Ooh, Ancestral Light might be a family member. <laughs> Just saying, could definitely be a family member, Saggy. Um, Ancestral Light comes up when you have some major, major family stuff that needs healing, um, addressing, could also be ancestral healing as well. <clears throat> I did just hear karma, <clears throat> karmic ties. What other crystals are best for Saggies for the month of September? I just heard Saturday. Okay, Saturday. That's not for everybody. <laughs> and I don't know why that came up. Maybe it was your personal confirmation or that day is going to be important for you. That day of the week is going to be important for you. Something about Saturday meal or like Saturday dinner. Dinner. Something about Saturday dinner. Obviously, again, not for everybody. <coughs> What crystals are best for Saggies for the month of February? Ooh, we've got Eye of the Storm. Okay, some of y'all got some family drama. Sorry. Sorry, Sag. I hate to break it to you. Some of you guys have some fa family drama stirring up, or you have <clears throat> some ancestral um, healing that needs to take place around some kind of drama or chaos that's going on in your life. But Saggy, I feel like you're at the center of it. I feel like people are looking to you for the answer. Like, people are like, Saggy, help us. Like... Saji, aren't you gonna do this? Saji, aren't you gonna do that? Like, Saji, can you come and help, please? Like, it feels very much like that. And you're not liking it. I can tell you're not liking it. It's it's causing you a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety. Some of you guys are, are might rebel against this energy and just be like, fuck it, and like run away. 
what other crystals are best for Saggies for the month of February? Wow, you guys got two more. <clears throat> oh no. <clears throat> Sorry guys. So we have Rhodozite and Nirvana Quartz, okay? I just feel a lot of healing needs to take place here and it's mostly around family or karmic ties or some ancestral wounding that's taking place. That's taken place, excuse me, is what I meant to say. So let's go ahead and read these off. <clears throat> okay. Ancestralite, the ancestors. Ancestralite has been radically modified during its time in the earth. It helps you to find the treasures hidden in your past. It takes healing away. Hold on. It takes healing <laughs> way back and brings forward soul learning, rolling it into the future, but letting go of the experiences that created it. Any dis-ease you are carrying is ancient and has passed down through the ancestral line. It relates to prevailing attitudes and forbidden emotions that have been kept firmly rep repressed. Repressed is how you say that. As well as the ancient traumas and family dramas. Take note of your dreams. <clears throat> family secrets come to the surface. A radical rethink is called for in all that you think you believe and allow yourself to feel. The ancestors are all those who have gone before you, not just your bloodline. Heal them and heal yourself. The frequency of the stone is earthy, great for all the chakras, and manifesting the gifts from the past. Yeah, there's something about having to go back, Sag, and it's interesting that September kept coming up. It's still, the energy of September is still very present. There could be some timeline stuff going on here, too, for some of you guys, okay? And then we have Eye of the Storm, Safe Haven. <clears throat> Eye of the Storm is a safe haven for your soul, a calm center no matter what upheavals may occur, a life support system during stressful times or serious illness, holding on to it during challenges so that you keep things in perspective. You may be allowing the challenges and traumas of life to push you off center. Stress and pressure are a major cause of your dis-ease. You could be focusing too closely on one aspect of life to the detriment of others. Look at the wider picture. <clears throat> Time to relax and let go of your stress. Stay mindful rather than watchful. Excess adrenaline adversely affects your immune system. Switch on the positive potential in your cell walls. Meditate quietly to rejuvenate your DNA. You can stay centered and calm no matter what storm rages around you. The frequency of the stone is earthy and high. <clears throat> Great for all the chakras and for walking safely through the storm. Okay, now let's go ahead and read Rhodozite. Uh, I just heard stand up. Oh, Saji, why I can't shake this energy of family. I just can't shake that energy off of this. Um, so you guys might have to stand up to some family members at this time, okay? <clears throat> Rhodozite, mighty power. Zingy Rhodozite is excellent for removing blockages and for adding vitality to the physical body. It cleanses, activates, and powers up all the chakras and harmonizes the etheric bodies. This crystal encourages the flow of kundalini energy to all the cells and the spaces between. <clears throat> Karmic imprints from your past lives or emotional wounds from earlier in your present life may be creating a state of psychosomatic disease. Your own negative or compulsive thought patterns also play a part, as can those of other people directed towards you. Check out the harmony or lack of it in your environment. Earth energies may be disrupting your well-being. The ground around you, around your workplace and your home may need healing and stabilizing by planting suitable crystals in the earth. Living in a healthy, stable environment creates a stable physical body. The frequency of the stone is earthy and high, great for the earth star, the solar plexus, and great for healing the earth. <clears throat> if you live with anybody, particularly blood relatives, um, you might really want to pay attention to that. You might really want to pay attention to connecting to the environment around you and that sometimes when you have a lot of bad energy or bad family dynamics, it actually affects the earth that you guys are on. So if there, you know, if you have a family home, and some crazy shit's gone down in it. Uh, the earth has might have been scarred by some of the events that have taken place there. Because that's definitely coming through for some of you. Okay? <clears throat> I know it's annoying, guys. I'm sorry. I could feel, so I could feel some people's agitation who are watching this right now. <clears throat> okay. Nirvana Quartz Enlightenment. Nirvana Quartz assisting in stepping off the karmic wheel, bringing light and bliss consciousness. For many lifetimes, you've been working with your karma that has now passed. There is no need for restitution nor punishment or guilt. Let those go so you can recognize your full potential, receiving a download of cosmic light that transforms your being. Step off the karmic round. <clears throat> so I've drank so much water before this. That's also why, like, I'm sure some of you are like, why is she not drinking water? I like was chugging water before this. <clears throat> it also doesn't seem to help. Okay. <clears throat> okay, 
Where was I? Step off the karmic round and allow the karma of grace to manifest. Open yourself to receive enlightenment. Recognize that this is a new beginning and fresh energy. If you are experiencing traumatic times and soul challenges, relax and wait for resolution. Do not push against the river. Go with the flow. Karma is created in each moment by every thought and deed. Uplifting thoughts and positive actions ensure your future well-being. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high, and it's great for the highest crown for Pisceans and embodying enlightenment on Earth. This is all the healing that I feel like you're bringing to the situation, Sag. So, unfortunately, Sag, it seems like you're being put in the center of something. It seems like you're being sought after to sort of mend a situation or at least be the, be the one to bring in the medicine for the situation, whether it's between you and one other person. <clears throat> Or between you and a wider group of people, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards. I'm actually going to use um, Rider Waite for this one. Yeah, I just feel like everyone's looking to you or whoever's involved is looking to you. Why am I sad you need these crystals for February? Why am I sad you need these crystals for February? <clears throat> Why do my Sagis need these crystals for February? <laughs> Why do my Sagis need these crystals for February? Why do my Sagis need these crystals for February? Ooh, Page of Cups. Honest and open and vulnerable communication is what I'm getting off of this. Apologies. Uh, emotional openness. I just heard emotional openness. It's a weird way to say that. But yeah, it's just being vulnerable, being honest, being open in the form of communication. I do feel apologies. And this doesn't feel like one person. It really doesn't feel like one person. It's like, it's the nature of the medicine. It's the nature of the solution. I really feel like you're acting as mediator, Sag. So just be mindful of that. So, oh, interesting. Some of you guys do that for a living. Oh, that's kind of cool. I just, okay, that's really cool. Some of you guys might actually end up being um, mediators. You might actually, some of you might actually switch careers and become mediators, but I feel like I'm actually connecting to some people who do that for a living. <clears throat> you could even be a therapist. Oh, wow. Sorry, Satch, I don't mean to laugh. Judgment, fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Six of Cups is scorpionic energy as well. This is Pluto. That's why I consider it Scorpio. So a lot of scorpionic energy, a lot of water, a lot of water and a lot of fire in these two cards. Deal you know, with the Page of Cups, Judgment, and Six of Cups. This is reconciling shit from the past. <clears throat> it's apologies for old wounds, apologies for the past. Um, whatever happened, Sag, you are the key to healing it you're the key to healing it okay for some of you honestly this this can be just a total reconciliation between you and like an a love interest for some of you okay but i just keep getting reconcile 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 i know it's not broken record but yeah reconcile <clears throat> why else do my sad using these crystals oh we got the hermit virgo bringing in the wisdom I just heard bringing in the wisdom. Virgo energy. Yeah, Sag, you're, you're being looked at because it's almost like no matter how old you are compared to the people involved or the other person involved, if it's you and one other person, you have the, the most wisdom in the room is what I'm getting, which makes sense because you are Saggy. You're literally wisdom in your house, in your house, right? The ninth house. <clears throat> you have the most wisdom at the table. You have the most knowledge. You have the most say-so, which is interesting. You have the most sway. You also have the most sway. Um, even if that really hasn't been the case in the past with this person or people, it is now the case. Whatever has gone down from whenever that shit happened to now, people look at you that way now. They want me to really emphasize that. Why else do my Sagis need these crystals? Some of you might feel like this is too much of a weight. Like this is too much responsibility. You're supposed to do it though. Sorry, I'm like, I'm getting all kinds of messages. Um, especially with judgment here, you're you're supposed to be involved in this way. You're supposed to play this role. Why else do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of February? Oh, that's it. Over energy. Ooh, yeah, we got chariot in reverse, Cancerian energy, and then we have five of wands in reverse. <clears throat> 
<laughs> Leo energy, excuse me. Um, whatever the problem is, the five of wands in reverse, people or the other person, if it's just you and one other person, really want it to stop. Really want it to stop. But the fact that chariot in reverse is here, it's like it's having a hard time doing that, right? It's like there, it's really hard to have a victory here. It's really hard to have a, have a triumph. It's almost like you're being called to round up all the little like players. Like even if there's up to five, I'm just saying five, there's five people in this card. Like all the players involved who are honestly, whatever, whatever shit went down, Sag, it's like none of them really have, God, how do I say this? I'm sorry, guys. Where are my words? It's my throat's distracting me. How do I say this? Like, no one is more right than the other. That There we go. It's petty. It's just petty. <laughs> it's petty. No one's more right than the other. And it's like, for whatever reason, you're the key because you have the most wisdom at the table or you have the most knowledge or like the most sway. It's almost like when whatever went down, this feels like a family dynamic. I gotta be honest. This feels like a family dynamic or like a social circle dynamic. It's almost like it had nothing to do with you initially, whatever went down. It had nothing to do with you, which is why you're kind of the key to getting this resolved. Again, mediator, right? Because you're the most unbiased party or the one that had, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, oh, the like the least involvement. Thank you. You had the least involvement and you're being looked at to help, okay? On the wider scale of things, <clears throat> Oh, God. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, on the wider scale of things, I really feel a big career change here where it's like some of you are coming into this calling of mediation. Um, and it's a big change for you. And I do feel children involved with this as well. You could become like a, a counselor for children. Ooh. Oh, that's crazy. I just heard grief counselor. Okay. I just heard grief counselor. Um, yeah, because I'm almost getting like like you're noticing the conflicts around you around like your environment other people again only for those it was like more of like a calling situation <clears throat> and kind of what's going on in the world and like some of the things that are troubling you the most relate to children specifically and maybe the loss that children have to suffer in certain situations and you're being called to um to come in and heal that to come in and heal those situations and that's part of your purpose part of your calling Okay. Wow. So that's kind of cool, Sag. That was a cool little channeling at the end. Okay. <clears throat> oh, Lordy. Oh. Aries or Leo? <clears throat> Who's going to win? <laughs> Who's going to win between Aries and Leo? This, is always, this always gets kind of fun. Leo, you always want to be center stage, but Aries, so do you. <laughs> Let's be honest, right, Aries? You're number one, right? Just... I didn't decide on the sign, but Malachite just came out. <clears throat> okay, Aries or Leo for February. 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 Oh, you guys are battling it out. Cancer and Scorpio did that too. All right, or Aries, Aries, you win. You win. You win, Aries. Let's do Aries. Let's do Aries. <laughs> I literally just heard someone go damn straight. That's so crazy. I literally just heard someone go, yeah, damn straight we won. Okay. Sorry, Leo. Okay, Aries. What crystals do my Aries need uh, for February? <clears throat> what crystals do my Aries need for February? Uh, there's a need to be calm. That's interesting. Ugh. Uh, Aries, there's a need to be calm in February. You know, Aries, I consider you to be a sign that can like be, be somewhat easily triggered. Oh, we got a little bit of like that short temper, like with shadowy Aries energy. No judgment, just is what it is, right? Um, for some reason, it seems like that's a little bit more sensitive in February. February, we have a lot of Piscean energy. Mercury will also be retrograding. Pretty shadow starts on the first. And we got a lot of Cappy energy. Aries, you do not like Cappy energy. You do not. Oh, that's what it is. I forgot. Mars is going into Capricorn. I forgot about that. Uh, Mars is going into Capricorn on the 16th. That might be what's doing it. Because Capricorn likes to uh, restrict. Capricorn likes to restrict and be rigid. And you do not like that. <laughs> you don't like that uh, at all. Uh, fire signs might have a little bit of tr uh, struggle here with February energy because of that. But especially you, Aries, because Mars, your ruling planet, will be sitting in Capricorn. 
Okay. Uh, but there's a need to be calm. Not let not let your environment affect you. Not let other people affect you too much. Not let people get under your skin. You might feel a little targeted too in February. Yeah, you might feel a little targeted too. Um, what is this? Oh, um, you might also experience some sexual frustrations in February, uh, and you might you might find yourself in um, opportunities for some sexual encounters. Just take precaution. I don't know why I'm picking up on like an STD sort of thing. I'm just, I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. I'm just a messenger. I'm picking up on that a little bit. At least a higher risk of that. So just be mindful of that. Anyway, let's get some crystals out here. Aries. <laughs> what crystals are best for my Aries for February? <clears throat> what crystals are best for Aries for February? Oh, okay. I'm liking this. I'm feeling a warmth coming on. Okay. Is someone melting your frustration? That's kind of how it feels. All of a sudden, things got really soft. Um, Aries, you might find that you like you stay in a sexually frustrated state, and all of a sudden, like someone's able to kind of dis disarm. Someone's able to disarm you. That's what it is. Someone's gonna disarm you. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Roto Roto Crusite. I don't know. I can never say that. Roto Crusite. This is literally heart healing. So that's interesting. I was feeling like a melting and a softening. Yeah, Aries. Um, uh, you're definitely gonna have a little bit of like a heartwarming melting situation. There's gonna be someone that you encounter. It could be someone you already know that's going to disarm you out of this energy of like being easily agitated and triggered and sexually sexually frustrated keeps coming up. And it's gonna just it's gonna cause a little bit of a heart healing effect here, but they're gonna they're gonna disarm you. What other crystals are good for Aries for February? Ooh, a zestulite. Okay. Aries, I love you. I feel like you got this for, for January as well. A zestulite, um, Oh, as that's like can be recommended when sometimes we we let the ego kind of get in the way a little bit or we have a little bit of like extra anger which is exactly what i was like sensing for you guys the fact that you have a heart healing crystal and a crystal to help with your anger and, and ego just tells me that they're like you are needing to calm down and ground a little bit and i feel like someone's actually helping you in that process okay let's see what else wants to come out <clears throat> What other crystals are good for my Aries for February? What other crystals are great for Aries for February? Okay, now we have, oh, we got selenite. Okay, so selenite's a great crystal for a lot of different reasons. It offers protection. It also offers um, uh, aid and support for higher consciousness and for connecting to source and connecting to your guides. It's great for that. Um, it's also great for just cleansing and clearing. It does a lot of really nice stuff, okay? Which I'm not surprised this is coming in with for these energies because for these two crystals to come out, it basically says that you need to heal and clear, but also you need to be connected to your higher self. Otherwise, you know, sometimes the ego can like act up or get a little overinflated in an unhealthy way, right? So not surprised that came out here. Also, I was feeling that like targeting and getting picked on a little bit or like feeling like people are giving you a harder time than normal. Selenite will also help protect you from that, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and read these off. <clears throat> All right. Rhodochrosite, the heart reviver. Rhodochrosite teaches the heart to assimilate painful feelings without shutting down. Dissolving denial and identifying ongoing detrimental patterns, it offers compassionate love and forgiveness. You face the truth with loving awareness. Deep down, you feel alienated, unloved, or unappreciated. A history of sexual or emotional abuse creates disease, or you may have misused or feared your sexual power in the past. You may be repressing something you do not want to face. Irrational fears and paranoia and unacceptable emotions need to be acknowledged and transformed. Time for a change of viewpoint. Begin to seek the gifts in your experiences rather than seeing the negative effects. Check out whether what you were taught in childhood is so relevant to the person you are today. Releasing resentment from your heart creates well-being. The frequency of the stone is high, great for the heart and the solar plexus, the root and the sacral, and for radiating unconditional love and selfless compassion. It's a beautiful stone too. I mean, honestly, it's gorgeous. I would wear that. I'd wear it just to wear it personally. <clears throat> Azestulite, cosmic evolution. Azestulites are imbued with immense spiritual energy and information for guidance and insight. They're here to help Earth ascend to a higher exp expression of consciousness. 
You are a being of light here to help Earth evolve. Although you need to rise above mundane concerns, keep your feet on the ground and deal with the everyday. Too much emphasis on sweetness and light leads to ignoring your shadow energies, which become inauthentic and lethal. Niceness, if not acknowledged and integrated, stay real, leave your ego behind. You are here to represent spiritual light on Earth and help it evolve. Make yourself heard. A project is successful no matter what. Avoid becoming impractical and having too high an opinion of yourself to the detriment of others. Retain your humility. Recognizing that every soul is precious ensures you remain in cosmic harmony. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. It's great for all the chakras, but best for the highest crown and for assisting the earth to evolve. So you got some, a lot of, um, <clears throat> excuse me, divine energy wanting to come through for you, Aries, which just tells me that you're on the verge of just growing and evolving as a person. There's just some stuff that's getting triggered for you. And that just has to be looked at and dealt with. That's why you're feeling agitated. That's why you're feeling poked and prodded. Um, a little aggressive, even sexually frustrated, that even that's a thing, right? And that actually came through a little bit in the rhodochrosite. Um, so just pay attention to those feelings, right? And don't let it get the best of you. <clears throat> Selenite, divine light. In the ancient world, selenite protected against wanderings of the mind. It evokes mental clarity and divine inspiration. Spirituality is vital for you. You are a translucent soul who moves fluidly through time. Use insights wisely. Avoid confusing past with present. You see into people's hearts to what motivates them. Do not be manipulated or too eager to please. Stand by what you know. You have the gift of clarity and mental flexibility with the power to make excellent decisions. A situation is unpredictable no matter how solid it appears. Be prepared for challenges and changes. Banish confusion. Clarity is needed. Allow divine light to inspire the future. Let go of something dear to you. Parting does not mean loss of love. Reconciliation is possible. Make the first move. Overheard conversations enlighten you. Being in the flow strengthens your well-being, and the frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. It's great for the highest crown, the soul star, and the stellar gateway, and for Torians and Cancerians, and for shining divine light on the earth. Okay? All right, so really nice crystals, Aries. Let's go ahead and break these down a little bit to see why you need these crystals. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm actually going to use, you know... For it is a crystal reading. Why not use the crystal deck? Why not? I do love this deck. And for any of the decks that I use or have ever used since the start of my channel, they're all linked below for you guys in case you guys want them for yourselves. I buy them mostly on Amazon for the most part. Okay. Why do Aries need these crystals for the month of February? I just heard Aqua. Well, I heard Aquarius. I'm just shortening for you. <laughs> I just heard Aquarius. Um, well, and we will be in Aquarius season for a good chunk of February. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius, so you could have that in your chart. <coughs> new moon and Aquarius energy will be with us until the next new moon, which is in Pisces, which is at the end of February. So we'll be in it for most of February. Why do Aries need these crystals for the month of February? <coughs> I just heard February 24th. Well, they showed me the numbers, but February 24th. <clears throat> Why do Aries need these crystals for February? Ooh. 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 <laughs> Um, I'm nervous. I'm nervous, Aries. Uh, we have the Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be air. Uh, that's where it almost said Aries. Could also be air or fire. This might be you, Aries, or it could be vice versa. You guys know how energy works. And of course, this is not for everybody. But Knight of Swords is a very, like, it can be a very aggressive energy. It's communication, but it's very blunt. It's very honest. But sometimes it can be very, like, uh, overly determined. It's a very, very determined energy here. Okay. Whoa. Oh, crap. We've got the moon. Piscean energy. I'm getting, fu I hear frustration. Frustration, frustration, frustration. You feel like, okay, well, major download. You feel like someone's getting in your way. You feel like someone or someones are getting in your way and blocking you and you've had enough. Shit, Aries. <laughs> so the moon is Piscean energy. Uh, could also be Cancerian for me to, as a reader. Eight of Wands on reverse is Sag energy. Could be dealing with, a, with someone who has a moon in Sag placement or you could have a moon in Sag placement. Again, not necessarily. Or a moon in Gemini. Anyway, that's, exa that's exactly what this is. This is confusion as to why shit is not getting done right or confusion as to why I'm not having progress, confusion as to why shit's not popping off the way it's supposed to pop off and you're frustrated. Oh, 
I, I, Aries, I gotta be honest, I feel a little bit of a lashing out and maybe people have poked you and prodded you along the way, so I get it. Just try to keep your head about you. Why do Aries need these crystals? For the month of February. Why do Aries need these crystals for the month of February? Why do Aries need these crystals? Uh oh. Oh. Oh my. We have judgment. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader, and the lovers in reverse Gemini energy. Aries, you're not gonna like what I have to say. Okay. The fact that judgment and lovers in reverse came out here, there's something that you have to look within yourself regarding a connection that you had. I don't feel like this is a connection that is very much sustained anymore in your current current timeline, present day, however you want to say that. Um, but there needs to be there needs to be a look at this. And I feel like that might be relating to some kind of healing that hasn't taken place that really needs to take place for you in order for you to have progress here. Some of you guys feel like um, you've been blocked just energetically or that just things have slowed down. You're like, why have things slowed down? Why are things not going the way I expected? Where did the momentum go? Like literally that's what I'm hearing. Like where did the momentum go? You just have a lot of frustration here. A lot of frustration. It could also be that you're missing someone and wanting to reconcile with someone. That can definitely be the case. I feel like it's more this is the reason why you feel so blocked. You just have to look back on this or look within yourself. It's really about within yourself is what I'm getting. Looking within yourself regarding a connection and you'll have clarity as to why you're not having forward movement or why you feel blocked, or why you feel frustrated, okay? Over energy, we do have the Nine of Wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy. There's something here. It's almost like a giving up energy. It feels a, it feels a little bit like that. Like, um, I'm tired. I'm frustrated. I'm on the verge of giving up. I'm on the verge of giving up. I feel a lot of dark energy coming in all of a sudden. Again, dark energy is not necessarily bad. You might need to just spend a little time in the underworld dealing with these with these feelings here, dealing with whatever went on with this. And I feel like you're going to have way more progress than you anticipated, or you're going to have a lot more energy flow back into your life here. That's what this feels like. This feels like an emotional block that created an energetic block for you. And you're frustrated, you're angry, you're tired, um, and you, you've almost had it. That's how it feels in February. Like, you've almost had it. I feel like it's going to come to a head... Um, after the full moon, like around when Mars goes into Capricorn, I feel like that's when this energy is going to come to a climax for you. Uh, I'm kind of curious about the Knight of Swords energy, though. I'm really curious about that. So let's go ahead and clarify that. I'm going to use Lenormand deck on this one. Time about the Knight of Swords. And you know, Aries, keep in mind, it can be it can be that this is someone else's energy, that they're sexually frustrated, that something's not popping off with you. And the truth of it is, they need to look within themselves about the connection they have with you. It could really be as simple as that. <clears throat> Talking about the Knight of Swords. Yeah, slow progress. The tree. Slow, 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 leading to frustration. <laughs> with the Seven of Cups attached to it. Confusion. Yeah, it's just, that's what, again, that's what Selenite's going to bring in is cl uh, clarity. Time of the Knight of Swords for Aries. Oh, we've got the bridge with the uh, Six of Wands. This is an obstacle. The bridge, excuse me, can mean a lot of different things in the Norman deck. Excuse me. Sorry. I started burping now when I channel. I don't know what the hell that's about. Uh, the bridge can mean a lot of things. It can mean um, getting over a major hurdle. It could be mending um mending ways it could be just a huge triumph it could be a trial or a challenge i do feel like it's just a slowly growing frustration and it's just becoming more and more challenging by the day it feels very slow it feels like you know drip 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 into a bucket like one little drop a day like that's how it feels like maybe when when this started dripping <laughs> uh you didn't even notice it and by february i really feel more mid-february uh it's gonna be like Drip, drip, like very loud, very loud, very irritating, very frustrating. Like, why can't I make it across this fucking bridge? That's how it feels. Why can't I have victory? Why can't I be triumphant in what it is I want? There's something you need to look at from whatever this connection is. 
within your heart space. It could just be, like I said, an emotional block that's created an energetic block. Like maybe you are supposed to get across the bridge, but you got to do some other shit before you cross that bridge, right? It just mean that. <clears throat> so I remember the Knight of Swords. Did you guys hear that too? <laughs> so I remember the Knight of Swords for Sagittarius. I mean, Sagittarius. Oh, that's weird. Aries. <laughs> Sagi could be playing a role in your reading. Uh, now we have the bouquet with the queen of swords. Bouquets are like beauty, gifts. Yeah, I really feel like you just want the reward. It's like you you just want to cross that goddamn bridge and be triumphant in whatever it is you want to be triumphant in. I feel like it's just that's my reward. That's the goal. That is what I want. That is what I need. Overall energy, we have the bear, persistence and strength, the ten of wands. It's very frustrating for you, but you're in it. You're in it to win it, but you're getting really tired. You're getting really, really tired and really, really frustrated. So close to where you might give up, but the fact you have the bear tells me you're not going to. And you're Aries. Are you, do you ever give up? Do you quit? Do you quit? Are you a quitter? No, you're not because you're Aries. Not Sag. <laughs> you just got to look here. You got to look here. Your answer is going to be here. Even if you don't want to go there, your answer is going to be there. Okay. Oh boy, Aries. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's do Leo, my lions. You waited patiently. I appreciate it. <laughs> I can feel a lot of you like, I wanted to go first. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. <sighs> Leo, Leo for February. Getting a lot of green energy, actually. They just showed me a lot of green. Um, <clears throat> I think a lot of you really need to be around trees. This is interesting. Leo, a lot of you need to be around trees right now, okay? Um, that's a really interesting channeling. Trees are really great. Like, tree bathing is, like, a, is a thing. I should do a video on tree bathing, actually. It's really fascinating. Um, we actually respond to... We respond physiologically to trees and, like, their own physiological and biological responses. It's really interesting. There's actually quite a connection and relationship between human beings and plants well all living animals really but you know trees give us oxygen we give them the co2 it's a very nice little symbiotic relationship right that can be harnessed and nurtured it really is healing to actually be around trees and leo for some reason you're really they're recommending that they're recommending that okay and no you can't look at a tree like it's <laughs> I love you guys. I literally heard someone go, well, can I just look like like look at a tree, like a picture of a tree? No, it's about like engaging in the actual symbiotic relationship. It's about engaging the relationship with the tree. Anyway, that's that was funny. Uh well, crystals are good for my Leos for February. Some of you guys need to be doing some breathing work. A lot of you guys are are getting into that or focusing more on that, which is great. Wow, what is all this like breathing and being around trees? You gotta get into the rhythm is also what I'm hearing, Leo. Like you gotta get into the rhythm of your environment. Some of you might've um, just been doing a lot recently or getting caught up in other things to the point where you've kind of either gone off your routine or you're just not really connected to the earth that much anymore. And you're just really needing to do that. You're just really needing to do that. <clears throat> It will help you connect to yourself more. Ooh, I just caught a glimpse of that black tourmaline. It'll help you connect to yourself more. I, I, I wish I didn't see that. I like, every time that comes out, I'm always like, oh, dun, 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 dun. Like, it just basically means that you got a lot of negative shit around you or coming at you that you need protection from, okay? Or cleansing of. Anyway, keep going. What crystals are good for my Leos for February? So you're having trouble creating. They're showing me a dagger. That's what daggers always remind me of, about things that need to be like cut away or created or destroyed and then created, like forged. Um, some of you guys are, are struggling there a little bit. It's because you're not very connected to yourself because you need a little bit more connecting to nature to connect to yourself. You've just got, I think you've just been a little stressed out. I think you've been a little stressed out. You've been a little busy and it's just done your office, off your stuff. That's it. I really think that's just it. You just got to recalibrate your energy. Well, crystals are good for my Leos for February. Keep in mind the full moon is in Leo. Sorry, guys. 
I got so sucked at your energy, I forgot about all the other shit that I already know about. Yes, the full moon is in Leo uh, on the 9th of February, I do believe. It's going to be an interesting full moon. I got to be honest. I, has, I have that channeling. I still haven't done a video about it. And now I'm debating if I should even put the video out. Um, I, th I have a feeling the collective's not ready. I think that's why I haven't done it. Because I really wanted to. And then I got hit with a bunch of shit. And then I take a couple days off. Um, and I think that's really why. Like, I don't think I'm supposed to put it out yet. I don't think people are ready for that channeling yet. But the full moon in Leo, I think, is going to bring some surprises to the forefront. Bring some, bring some surprises to the public. Public specifically, which also means the collective, okay? <laughs> um, it's also going to bring an energy of us wanting to just have a little bit more fun, like wanting a little bit of a break as well, which is very needed, right? which I think is very needed. We've all kind of been in the washing machine a little too, too long. It's kind of what it feels like, right? Anyway, lots of stuff, Leo. I know. I don't have any crystals out yet. What well, crystals are good for my Leos for February? You might be feeling that too. A need to kind of be center stage. Like a need to like be heard and be seen. Just make sure you, you're connected with yourself though. Make sure you're connected with yourself. Some of you guys might get frustrated because your creative endeavors are not going the way you expect them to. Because you're not really connecting to yourself in order to have that creative energy. So just check in with yourself on that. So when the full moon Leo comes, if you're frustrated for that reason, that's why. It's like... You're going to feel, damn it, I was so ready to be out there. I was so ready to do this. I was so ready to like be center stage. But you're going to feel like you didn't get your shit together. Don't get frustrated with yourself. You just had to deal with some shit. And that's okay. Anyway, sorry. So many channelings. Okay. What crystals are good for my Leos for February? Would not be surprised if we get like a Jasper or a Citrine or something like that. Something very, like, earthy and orangey. Oh, well, crystals are good for my Leos for February. Oh, oh, this is, oh, well, that makes sense, actually. Menalites. This is a very feminine, creative stone to, to really um, balance and heal feminine energies and harness feminine energies, which is creative energies, right? So menalites. Some of you have been so overwhelmed by your masculine energy, you haven't been able to realign and integrate with back into your feminine energy with your masculine energy. So some of you guys, that's also why you're getting this stone. What other crystals do my Leos need? For February, what other crystals do my Leos need for February? Oh, by the way, so I did, I've been reading some comments recently and someone recommended I call these channelings. Um, I'm open to that. I'm actually really open to that. I might do that on the next batch because I'm anal like that. Because <laughs> I'm just anal like that. I'm like, I can't change titles halfway through the signs. Um, but yeah, I like that idea. I think you're right. I think you're right. I forget your name, but I did read that. Sorry, that was so Leo of me. <laughs> I'm so in your energy. Uh, what other crystals are good for my Leos for February? Ooh, I can't ever, quantum quattro. It's so hard for me to say that slowly. Quantum quattro. Oh, you got some powerful stones right here, Leo. I think because honestly, you know, it is gonna be a little bit of your time because we're in the full, we're gonna have that full moon Leo energy. You're gonna wanna feel like a powerhouse. And if you don't feel like a powerhouse, you're gonna be really frustrated with yourself. Um, and you might fall into shadowy energy. I think that's also why these, these um, crystals are out here. What other crystals are good for my Leos? Oh, that's it. Okay, let's go ahead and read these off. Okay. Menalite, the wise feminine. Menalite has a profound connection with earth, the wise feminine and priestess power. It marks rite of passage through womanhood to wisdom. Men, don't be deterred. You got a feminine side too. Uh, you are an immortal soul who has an embodiment of the wise feminine. Express this through your body and actions. Go deep into yourself to find your connection to Mother Earth. 
yeah, connect to the trees. It's going to help you a lot. Uh, sit in her womb of healing. In meditation, you heal your soul. Put aside fear and remember that transitions are necessary prerequisites for growth. Honor your sacred sexuality. Make rites of passage joyfully. Experience a period of gestation. To move would not be beneficial now. Nurture yourself and bide your time. Withdraw into your inner world to accept necessary change. Make your soul whole and find power allies. You know when it is time for rebirth. <clears throat> Maturation is a process of growing wiser. The soul and the heart do not age. The frequency of the stones earthy and high. Great for the earth star, the root and the sacral, and great for Taurians, Virgos, and Cappies, and for expressing the divine feminine. So yeah, it's basically saying we I'm so I called you Virgo. <laughs> so Leo, it's basically just saying sit down with Earth, sit down with yourself, connect back with yourself before you do anything else, is basically what it's saying. Don't let frustration get the best of you. I can feel it. God, all my fire signs, like you, this cappy energy has been hard on my fire signs. Um, anyway, keep it going. Quantum Quattro, synergy. Quantum Quattro has an amazing healing power and a dramatic effect on physical vitality. It brings about an energetic shift and in integration. You are an extremely complex person who is seeking wholeness within yourself. Examine all facets of your personality, especially those you hide from yourself and others. Accept those of value. Find the gift hidden deep within within mistakes forgive and let go release yourself from codependencies and abusive relationships and heal your inner child recognize the resources you have to draw on karmic aspects need healing your question is nowhere near uh, near as straightforward as it seems so go so go dig deep and see all sides the power of the whole is much greater than its component parts once you have all the information you are invincible and evolve rapidly powerhouse <laughs> recognizing that you cannot heal anyone else or influence their behavior enhances your own well-being the frequency of the stone is high it's great for all the chakras great for taurians gemini's virgos libra scorpio sagis and cappies that's a hell of a lot of signs to list and holistic healing for the soul so basically leo time to sit down connect to some nature connect to connect to yourself to realign yourself get your energy right whatever you got to do to make it happen oh shit hold on we're about to go in second video okay sorry we're back um get all that shit done before you do anything else a lot of you want to work on projects a lot of you guys might want to move because that can't like do not move um uh you guys just want to get up and go and be front and center and stage it's not a time for that right now the time is to be withdrawn in and that is going to make you frustrated as hell but the sooner you do that then you can go out and be center stage. So think of it that way. Like all the preparation you need to do to get center stage, you just gotta you just gotta go within and do it. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead. What deck do I want to use for you guys? I want to use a fun one, but something's telling me not to. So I'm gonna go with Radiant Wise. Not that it's not a fun one, but you know, like a crazy one, like <laughs> a non-classic one. Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of February? Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of February? Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of February? Don't be mad at me. I'm just the messenger. I just heard headstrong. Don't be stubborn with yourself or your process. Okay. I know it's hard. I'm speaking as a Scorpio. Okay. I get it. I get it. Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of February? Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of February? One more. We got a King of Swords, Aquarian energy. Uh, could also be Gemini or Libra. This is someone who has clarity. Oh, got a lot on their mind is what I also just heard. Whoever this is, whether it's you or someone you're connecting with, this person has a lot on their mind. Oh my God. It almost feels like analysis paralysis. I feel worry behind this. I feel worry behind this. Oh my God. Someone has to stop thinking. Uh, I, it's, it's like, it's so paralyzing it's actually hard for me to like get out of it and like think straight for the reading um ew got lovers in reverse 
Gemini energy. Whatever this person's worried about, it could be about a connection, a spiritually guided connection. It, it's overwhelming. Like, does this person function? I like this. Is, it's really overwhelming, actually. I just heard dreams. There's my, and there might be a lot of stuff going on in the dream space or getting a lot of visions. And it's, it's overwhelming this person. Oh, that's interesting. It's oh, whoever, bleh, whoever this is, I can barely talk. I'm sure they can barely talk. Uh, they're getting overwhelmed by some visions and dream stuff that's happening to them. They're getting overwhelmed by that. It's almost like an overwhelm of information. I think that's what it is. It's like too much information. And it's making this person anxious too. It's making this person anxious. I feel like this person has a major decision on their hands, a major decision. And they don't want to fuck up, but it's like, they're so overwhelmed, it's throwing them out of alignment. They're very imbalanced, because it's just, it's too overwhelming. Jesus, why else do my Leos need these crystals? For the month of February? I do not envy them. That feels really awful. Uh, why else do my Leos need these crystals? Why do I feel say it all of a sudden? We have three of cups, Cancerian energy, chariot universe, cancer as well. Got a lot of cancer going on. Uh, and then we have the three of wands, Aries with the knight of swords in reverse. Uh, Gemini energy could also be air or fire. It's like a no-go. Like, that's so weird. I feel like foot's on the pedal, like almost on the pedal, but like not, sorry, <laughs> to like be so aggressive about it, um, not going on the gas like the foot's hovering and it's just like no <laughs> what oh my god oh this feels horrible this person's paralyzed this person is paralyzed they're paralyzed and they're overwhelmed they're thrown up they're thrown out of alignment they have a decision to make um it seems like about some kind of reconciliation that they want or some kind of uh, getting together a getting together or a reconciliation or some kind of social celebratory fun thing that they want, they're longing for. There could even be distance here with the Three of Wands or just emotional distance. They want it, but like, that's literally what they're showing me. Like their foot is hovering over the gas pedal to go and they're just like, no, <laughs> no, like I can't. They're terrified. Oh, that was exhausting. Like they're, they're oh, this is exhausting. This person's energy is draining me. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Why else do my Leos need these crystals? Why else do my Leos need these crystals the month of February? Uh oh. Why else do my Leos need these crystals the month of February? I'll show you guys in a second. Death in reverse. Res major resistance. Major fucking resistance. Scorpionic energy. Sorry, I feel all sassy when I'm in fire energy right now. This is like, I'm never usually this like sassy in videos if you're new sorry taking it reeling it back in leo uh so death in reverse i just saw major resistance here to go like major resistance to allow something to happen i just can't get off of this weird paralysis energy like this person is like so overwhelmed i feel like they can't think of other things their mind is consumed over energy we do have the six of cups scorpionic energy Underneath that, we have Judgment in Reverse, and then we have Page of Wands. Yeah, Confused, Confused. Seven of Cups, Jesus, with the Ace of Pentacles. Holy crap. Okay. This person, again, it's this, like, no-go. It's like, go, no-go, go, no-go. No like, I just keep getting that with the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. This person deep down knows what they what their heart wants, but they're letting their mind get too overwhelmed and kind of running the show. And I do feel this energy, I keep getting this energy of dreams as well. I think there's some kind of uh, spiritual communication or telepathy going on here. That's weird. It's like on, off, on, off, on, off. Um, the telepathic communication is on, off, on, off, on, off. It's almost like it's there and then it's not. It's there and then it's not. I think that's adding more confusion to this person. Uh, with the page of wands, this is definitely wanting a new adventure or some kind of Oh my God, this, or, oh, I feel for this person. It's like, I want it, but I can't. Like, I want, I want it, but I can't. I want it, but I can't. Like, oh, this is not fun energy. This is not not fun energy. Uh, Leo, this could be someone 
coming your way, wanting to come your way, and they're not, or this could be you and your energy, which does feel very fragmented, and we did kind of get that for you, Leo. You could also be dealing with another Leo, so keep that in mind, too. Um, major resistance to just kind of let, th like let things progress or to have some kind of momentum here, just because this person is so overwhelmed. <sighs> God, this is draining me. Okay. I do want to clarify a little bit here, though, because I'm kind of curious. So let's go ahead and look at the King of Swords. Let's just look at them and see what's going on. We'll just take a peek. Uh, I'm going to use Lenormand deck, the other one. This is the, um, I always forget what it's called for those who like want this deck for themselves. I think it's just the, the, the special edition, the special edition one. Tell me about the King of Swords. This person doesn't feel ready. I literally just heard, I'm not ready for this. Oh, God, I really feel for them. I'm not ready for this. Like, literally, that's what this person's like. I'm not ready for this. Talking about the King of Swords. Talking about the King of Swords. Their soul is begging them to. I can feel it. It's such a like. It's such a torn energy, like torn between the between the heart and the head. So torn. This person's ego and like mind is just talking way too much, and the heart is like screaming, trying to like overpower the mind, and it's just making this person like overwhelmed. Something about the King of Swords. Oh, interesting. So we have the fish. Uh, with the King of Pentacles, 34, breaking down to a 7. This is interesting. This card's so interesting to me because uh, fish is about fluidity and things that flow. It can indicate energy flow or money. It can even indicate work or career. This could be someone you work with or this could all be about a work issue. I don't think so, though. It feels very romantic related, I gotta be honest, with all these cups here, with all the cups and the wands. It feels very rom romance related. Um, but there's something about this person's energy flow that's just not there because they're so fragmented and so paralyzed. It's not there. But I feel like this person has a lot of emotion, like like bound. Thank you. That's the word. Bound. I think that's proper grammar. Um, the right word is actually a little too TMI, so I'm not going there. But it's, a, it's just, it's like clogged. It's like emotional clog. Because again, the heart is like screaming trying to overpower the mind and the ego and it's just making this person overwhelmed because it's like there's some kind of clog going on there uh tell me about the king of swords tell me about the king of swords they don't oh this is okay this person really doesn't want to hear their heart space they don't want to that's why, they're, that's why they're resisting it so much. It's like they're trying so hard to block flow of water, right? Like flow of emotion. But I feel like if they do that, I mean, think of anything that gets backed up, right? There's going to be some kind of overflow. I think this person, if they keep keep this up, they might get hit with such emotion. They might like, they might just get like overwhelmed and drown in their own emotion. Not like in a crazy way, just, you know, it might just be too much. Anyway. Oh... We've got the male with the ace of cups and the letter. Uh, this person really wants to talk. They want to. They want to so bad, but every time they, it's like, <laughs> they like, it's like they retract their foot off that gas pedal and they're just like, no, no. They got something to say. Tell me about the King of Swords for Leo for February. I did not mean for Leo to have such a long reading. Sorry, Saggy and Aries. I really didn't mean to. I really didn't mean to. This is a very paralyzing kind of an energy. Tell me about the King of Swords. Tell me about the King of Swords for Leo. And again, when we when we say man, we were talking about masculine energy, not like a male. It can't indicate a male. It's energy though, because it's a general reading. It's energy. Tell me about the King of Swords for Leo. Over energy. We have the sun, which is the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, underneath that, we have the clock. There's there's Thomas ticking. When the clock comes out, it indicates that destiny is at play or that quite literally time is running out on this person to do something or to say something. 
Time's running out on this opportunity, whatever this person wants, and they want to communicate. They want to talk about something or make some kind of offer about something. The Ace of Pentacles. And time's ticking. Wow. Okay. Leo, I'm tired. <laughs> Uh, I hope all of you guys really enjoyed this reading. This is like such a long one. Really didn't mean for it to be so long. I just got caught up in your guys' energy. But I hope you guys found it insightful and helpful. Don't forget to check out Patreon and Vimeo. And I will see you guys later. Okay? Have a great night and a great February. Namaste.